G'day guys and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be learning how to make cornflakes whiskey. Now it's not a real true whiskey, it's just a spirit made from um, supermarket ingredients. I uh, got the recipe off a home brewing forum on the internet, but uh, I'll show you how I make it. Righto, so here's the ingredients you'll need. 725 gram packet of Kellogg's cornflakes, 4 kilos of white sugar, a teaspoon of Epsom salts, teaspoon of citric acid and a quarter of a cup of baker's yeast. This will make one 20 litre batch. Grab the cornflakes and a pair of scissors to snip the uh, corner of the packet and we're going to crunch them up. I just use my fists, you can use a rolling pin or whatever. You just want to crunch them up a bit so they're not so coarse. Get yourself a large pot chuck it on the stove and bring three litres of water to the boil. Once your water's boiling, just turn it down to a low heat, grab your cornflakes and pour them into the pot. You grab yourself a handy mixing spoon and just give it a bit of a stir around, make sure all the cornflakes are submerged under the water. Kill the heat. Give it one last stir, and then we're ready to add it to the fermenter. I ferment this stuff in uh, just 20 litre food grade buckets that I buy from the local Bunnings. This bucket has been sterilised with star sand. Get your cornflakes porridge, pour it in. Now using the pot you just cook the cornflakes in, grab some cold water out of the sink and uh, add it to your fermenter. Time to add the four kilos of sugar. No need to get too fancy with it. Just rip them open and pour them straight in. There's one thing you can't do enough of when you're making this stuff, and that's stirring. Make sure you stir it all the time. You need to get plenty of oxygen in there for when you put the yeast in to get them a healthy start. Now just continue adding cold water, stirring, adding cold water, stirring until the bucket gets basically full. Once you're all topped up with cold water, it's time to add one teaspoon of citric acid, one teaspoon of Epsom salts, and then give it another stir. Time to add the yeast. I'm just using Lowen's Baker's yeast, one quarter of a cup. Chuck the lid on the bucket, push it down firmly, but uh, don't seal it up completely. Righto, two weeks has passed, the buckets have fermented, they just sit in the back room of my house and uh, no temperature control or anything like that. Time to get the wash into the boiler of the still. I set up a rudimentary funnel made out of a water container because I couldn't find my real funnel that I usually use. You'll also see it's being propped up by an axe. That's because I knocked it over the first time and made a mess. When you get to the bottom of the bucket, don't worry too much if you get a little bit of crud in the boiler, just not too much. Grab the hose, clean the sides of the boiler, all the wash you just spilt everywhere when you knocked the funnel over. Here's a clip of me not using the right funnel and making a mess. Need to mix up some plain flour and water to make up a stiff paste to seal up the top of the boiler where the condenser attaches.
here's my condenser it's a Liebig design if you just google that you'll see how it works here I'm just sliding the condenser into the top of the still and it's sealing up again with the same flour and water paste righto it's action time fire up the gas burner set it to maximum and uh, let it start heating up As the still is warming up, I always check the uh, flour paste is starting to go hard. It'll do so once it gets warm. Here I'm just setting up a uh, collection jar for the heads, which are a bad part. It's 250 milliliters, I always collect that much and then chuck that away before I start collecting the stuff I'm going to keep. By now I've got water running through the condenser and we're just starting to get the first bit of um, liquid condensing and coming out. I also turn the burner down to low. So that's the first 250 mils collected. That goes in the, down the drain. And now I'm going to stick a 5 litre collection jug under the spout of the still. Now it's just a matter of letting the still run. I collect 5 litres so once the jug's full, I shut the still off, and that gives me about 60% ABB in that 5 litre jug. Once you're done, kill the gas, turn off the water, she's all over. So that's the basics of it guys. It's pretty simple to do, cheap to make. I've been doing it for quite a few years now. Um, Originally started off with a T500 still, who, if anyone who's um, done any homebrew spirits will know, it's a entry level still that a lot of people start off with. I've now moved on to the pot still that I've built. Um, if anyone wants to see anything a bit more about the pot still that you see in the video, just uh, hit me up in the comments and I can uh, do a video on that. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode, maybe learned something, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.